The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Right, dear God, are thy friends unto me and held in highest honor. Their rule and governance is exceeding steadfast. O Lord, thou hast searched me out and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Right, dear, O God, are thy friends unto me, and held in highest honor. Their rule and governance is exceeding steadfast. Give it our Lord Jesus Christ, saith, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who didst give to thine apostle Bartholomew grace truly to believe and to preach thy word. Grant, we beseech thee unto thy church to love that word which he believed, both to preach and receive the same through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with thee in the Holy Ghost ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. The epistles written in the fifth chapter of the Acts of the Apostles, beginning at the twelfth verse. By the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And of the rest durst no man join himself to them, but the people magnified them. And believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes both of men and women. Insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks, and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed, every one. Here endeth the epistle. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, the glorious company of the apostles praise thee, O Lord. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory be to thee, O Lord. And there was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger and he that is chief, as he that doth serve. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth, he is not he that sitteth at meat, but I am among you as he that serveth. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Praise be to thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost to the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. 
And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. Well, you may have heard, you probably figured it out since I'm here. I tested negative for COVID. Everybody out there in Interland land, hear that. I tested negative for COVID. No COVID around here. We've run it away from this place. Um, the, uh, and just so that you out there know what happened, um, of course, you know, I was on vacation, went down to visit uh, my grandson and my daughter and her husband. And it was Tucker's third birthday and we had a third birthday party. And you all know that when you're around a bunch of toddlers and three-year-olds, they're going to be diseases. And so I got the cold. That's what happened to me. I got a cold and, uh, and my doctor, of course, who is Eric Bird, you know, we just, we talked about it and said, go ahead, just test you. He didn't think that I had it. I didn't think that I had it because it felt like a regular cold. And, uh, and so they tested me, I'm negative, we're good. So here we are, back to the, back to the world here as, as far as All Saints is concerned. So anyway, but it is good to be back. Um, although, uh, you know, if I come back positive, there would have been a positive to that. I would have had about three or four more days off. <laughs> but oh well, <laughs> that's how it goes. <laughs> now here we are today, St. Bartholomew the Apostle. Um, St. Bartholomew is one that we, we don't really know a whole lot about him. Um, he is... Uh, the church has kind of identified him with, uh, he's, Bartholomew is listed as Bartholomew in the three synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Um, in John, the church has identified him with Nathaniel, just so that you know when you hear names. Um, but Bartholomew um, is known as the, uh, the apostle to the Armenians which apparently is where he went, and I believe that's where his martyrdom happened and all that sort of stuff. But our colleague today tells us that Bartholomew, um, the, the reason that he's held up before us, other than just the fact of being an apostle, was that he, he was given God's grace, he had God's grace to believe and to preach thy word. So that is Bartholomew's particular gift, if you will, to believe what God has brought to this earth in Jesus Christ, and to go out and preach the Word. Word, capital W, which means, of course, Scripture, but also Jesus Christ. But the petition goes on in, in the colic for today. It says, grant we beseech thee unto thy church. That's us, folks. Grant unto us that we would love the Word that he believed, Scripture and Christ, that we would have that grace to love him as much as he did, and also both to preach and receive the same. So notice what we're doing here is we, we, we're, we're supposed to love the Word of God, that Word that Bartholomew believed, but we're also supposed to preach and receive the same. Think about that for a minute preach and receive the same. And when we talk about ourselves here in the setting of the church, it gives us a little different perspective on this. You know, we're supposed to preach the Word and we're supposed to receive the Word. Well, how do you receive it and preach it at the exact same time? Think about that. How do you do that? Well, how we do that is by living together as Christian people. Because what, what, what's the famous thing that, uh, you know, pre preach the Word, um, preach the Word or preach Christ crucified always, use words if necessary. So in other words, the way that we preach best is by the way that we live our lives. 
and then we look at other lives, especially here in the church, look at other lives. How are other, our fellow Christians living? And then we take that as the example. And that means when we take it as the example, that's receiving the same. That's receiving the Word of God that has been preached to us by the manner of life that someone else has laid out before us. So, you know, it's, so really what we're talking about here is we're not talking about all of us getting up there and going out there and standing in amongst all the Trump supporters down at the Ingalls today and sit there preaching the words with our floppy Bibles or whatever. What we're to do is we're to live the Word because that is the number one way that we as Christian people can preach it. And then also recognize that when we look at other Christian people, we need to see how they live their lives and receive that as the blessing. Receive that as, oh, that is the manner in which I should live my life. So that's a twofold thing. And that's what is set before us today as we consider St. Bartholomew, the one that believed the word and preached it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Let us pray. Dearly beloved, we offer the Eucharist day in union with Jesus Christ, our great high priest. We also offer in great thanksgiving for the life, witness, and martyrdom of Bartholomew, apostle. Please pray this day for all those who are sick and suffering, remembering especially those of this place, for Anne, Bob, Brian, Carolyn, Francis, Jeannie, John, Larry, Pat, Randy, and Richard. We also pray for our family, friends, and others who need and desire our prayers, remembering Alice, Barbara, Bentley, Bill, Kathy, Chris, David, Dean, Diane, Gretchen, and Child, Helga, Isabella, Jack, Joan, Joe, Linda, Lennon, Mary, Melissa, Monica, Myra, Naomi, Nina, Randall, Renee, Sarah, Tim, the Valderrama family, and Waylon. We pray for our U.S. Armed Forces who are deployed, remembering the 4th Platoon of the 812th Adjutant General Company. And we also pray for the souls of the faith that departed who share with us in this Eucharist, remembering today Priscilla. In our provincial prayer cycle, we pray for St. Paul's Church in Cincinnati and St. James Church in Cleveland. We also pray for these churches in Oregon, St. Andrew's Church in Jacksonville, St. Francis Church in Portland, and St. Michael's Church in Wilsonville. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours also may be acceptable in the sight of God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive this sacrifice at my hands to the praise and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever-living God, who by the holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech Thee most mercifully to accept our oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto Thy divine majesty, beseeching Thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess Thy holy name may agree in the truth of Thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech Thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers 
that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men. We acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him. Have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul saith, This is a true saying, and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John saith, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right, so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Amen. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. From the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me.
Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that, by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all of the benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him that he may dwell in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O mercy of the Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. 
Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is given for thee, preserve thy body and soul into everlasting life. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart with faith and thanksgiving. And for those who are at home and cannot now be present, let's say together the prayer for receiving spiritual communion. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I believe that Thou art truly present in the sacrament of Holy Communion. Since I cannot now receive Thee with my lips, I humbly beseech Thee to enter spiritually into my heart. I unite myself unto Thee, Lord Christ, and embrace Thy presence with my whole heart, soul, and mind. Let me never be separated from Thee. May the body and the blood of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ celebrated at this altar fill me with divine strength, preserve me from any evil and danger, and bring me unto life everlasting. Amen. And now having received the most precious body and blood of our Savior Jesus Christ, let us pray together in great thanksgiving. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost vouchsafe to feed us, who have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom by the merits of his most precious death and passion. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, 
Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Depart in peace. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Let's praise and honor be Jesus Christ, the most glorious honor in heaven, the most most sacred in the altar, the hearts of his faithful people, and may the souls of all the faith that departed from the mercy of God rest in peace. May life perpetual shine upon them. Amen. Amen.